Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today, we're doing a very, very, very highly requested tutorial, uh, and I'm not sure why, because there's plenty of other ones on YouTube, but for some reason, you guys like the way your boy explains stuff. So today, we're going to be showing you how to make a pine tree in Blender, uh, and we're not going to be doing the super simple ones. We're going to do the ones with a bit of variation like leaf cuts, um, rotate, stuff like that, okay? So first things first, you're gonna wanna hop in Blender and delete the cube. I'm assuming everyone already has Blender installed, so I'm not gonna run through all of that, but we're gonna add in a cylinder, go right down here to our little drop down. This is Blender 2.8, by the way, and we're gonna make this, I'm gonna go for eight. We'll start out with this, we're gonna go to our face select mode, click this top face, and just kinda, kinda scale it down, okay? Just drag it down a little bit. And then scale it in and what we're doing first is going to be building this trunk so we're going to go into our front view by pressing one and just kind of scale this however we want we're going to grab all of it by pressing a and just uh, shrink it up a little bit and then we'll grab this top face again and go back into front view so first things first guys you just want to kind of get your your base going a lot of pine trees are literally going to be like this for the trunk okay um but i like doing a bit more a bit more variation so if we extrude this scale it in a little bit there we go we can add a little bit of rotation to that so something like this and then we can extrude that a little bit scale that in and just kind of keep going with this rotating rotating it however you want you could also do that after the fact as well so like say you just wanted to do this drag this like over here you want to do another one you could drag this back this way a little bit do another one and then drag it back this way so something like this all right now you guys are probably like, bro bro they're all the same size so we're just gonna scale them down i would probably recommend scaling them as you go just so you get a nice even uh even adjustment but i didn't really do that so i'm just gonna scale them down like this a little bit each time there we go so now we have this as kind of our pine tree trunk and uh, you can even go into your other view like this and we can select the lines by holding alt and clicking and we can add a bit of variation going this way as well so just something like there's no real way to do it guys you could do literally whatever you want that's what's so cool about blender so i'm gonna do something like this and to make these edges look a little bit better i am gonna rotate these parts so we're gonna rotate this one like this this guy can be like like this and just go through and rotate these till they look okay so like that now i'm gonna press one again and get them rotated the right way for here this guy can probably be like up a little bit well that's okay so something like this guys all right not the best but it's not the worst this is just for tutorial purposes of course if i was making one for a game i would spend a lot more time on it than what i'm doing here but we have our trunk all right this is our trunk so now we're gonna go into this front view shift a and spawn in a circle right here and we're gonna change this down to we could do six or ten uh we'll do we'll do ten so just two more than our trunk and that's good for that we're gonna press s to scale things up and then we'll grab our little arrow keys to move this where we want it i think i want the tree to start about right here now the middle of the tree is right here so we're gonna line the point up with that and then we're just gonna press e to extrude make sure you're in edit mode that would probably help a lot <laughs> press one to go in our view e to extrude and we're just going to kind of follow the trunk of our tree. So we're going to go up like right here. And then we're going to press S to scale this in. Now we want to make sure we're following the tree. And we'll adjust this later. As you can see, it's not really following the tree on this axis. But we'll adjust that in just a bit. So I'm going to scale this up a little bit. And I'm going to press Shift D to make another one of these. Scale it out. And drop it on top of that one. And then scale this the way of the tree with uh, E. And then press S to scale it in. And then shift D, we're going to copy this again, scale it up with S, drag it down, and then press E again. And we're going to start going back the other way, press S to scale it in, and then shift D, press S to scale it up, drag it down a little bit, scale it up a little bit more, and then E. And then we're going to press S to scale it in. So this is kind of our pine tree. Um, if we look at it, of course, it looks kind of ugly right now. So we're going to scale this in a little bit. I think that already looks a ton better. Now we're going to go into our other view. So this one's pretty all lined up, guys. Uh, so you go into wireframe mode, you just want to press Z and hover over the mode you want. So this is, you know, material mode, wireframe, and then a rendered, you know, we're out here. Okay. 
So we're going to go into our other side view, this side. As you can see, it's not lined up that good. Let me just go ahead and press on this guy. All right, so we're going to start lining it up on this one. We're going to be using our line select and just holding alt to select all these lines. And we're going to be moving it to the center of each part. So this guy needs to go over this way. This guy needs to go over this way. And we just have to kind of make sure we're following the tree with this whole little thing. Every single branch and everything like that. Just to make sure it's following the tree. So there we go, something like that. Now we're gonna go back into solid mode to kind of look what we have. Uh, once again, I would spend a lot longer on this and it would look a lot better, but I'm just trying to kind of speed through it for the tutorial's sake. Now that we have this, I am gonna go ahead and put a solidify modifier on it just by heading over to this little wrench icon, going here and then clicking solidify. That's gonna give it a little bit of thickness and we can adjust this here as well. For this tutorial, I'll just put it at like this. I don't know why um, it's choosing. All right guys, so we're gonna be in edit mode, click the little wrench, add a solidify modifier, perfect. And then we're gonna just bump this up a little bit. That'll work. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and edit this stuff a little bit because as you can see it is overlapping in some spots so i'm gonna grab this line bring it over this way probably have to scale it up something like that now we're not overlapping anymore this guy can be scaled down for sure and moved over and it is a pine tree so we're gonna take this top one and kind of just scale it up and put it like over this way to kind of keep that curve going we could probably even add one more point on the top of this but i don't think we're gonna do that for this tutorial so what we have this guy right here here's our pine tree now you guys might be like, hey bro, how do you do like the cool cuts and stuff? So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I will select this and this and give them a little rotate by pressing R and then R and then Z. We'll kind of rotate these guys and uh, we'll just put them back in where they go. And now they're going to be a little uneven, okay? Like just, just not perfect. We do need to fix this top leaf right here though. There we go. Now guys, with this, we are going to go ahead, go into our edit mode. I don't know why it's not selecting everything for our edit mode like uh some of the leaves like it's selecting every other one and i'm not sure why it's doing that but uh you win some and you lose some okay so now we're gonna add in some loop cuts well this one will go kind of high this one we will go i can't see so i gotta have to just guess uh to loop cut you just press Control and r this one's gonna be pretty low and this one is also gonna have to be pretty low but sadly i cannot see and i'm not sure why it's doing that but um, you kind of have to just go with the flow with Blender, okay? Then we're going to go to our vertices select mode by clicking right here. And if we press a vertice and then click V, it's going to split that vertice, okay? So you can click that one and then click this one. And that's going to give you a split in your leaf, which is pretty cool. And we can kind of move this vertice up. I'm not saying it's, you know, great, but you could. And just go around your tree and split random ones. So just click on it, press V. And now we have a cool little split. We'll do one up top. We'll do one like maybe on this side, some down here. Um, kind of like just try to vary it as much as you possibly can. Just clicking V and then adding a split, which is very simple. And just go through your tree and do it really randomly. The more random it is, the better your tree is going to look. Um, and then I usually make the splits bigger the further I go down the tree. So like these bottom ones are going to be a lot bigger than the ones on the top. So we'll just do something like this. Another thing I like to do is using a line select mode, click alt and then grab the whole line. And you will have to kind of shift alt to get all of it after you add those cuts. But then you can scale it in. So let me go ahead and try to grab all of these whoops let me try to grab all of these i have to kind of guess oh yeah this is going to be bad because i have to guess those ones which is kind of kind of tough but you know what i'm really going for it here all right and i'm just going to click s to scale these in a little bit now okay so i've missed some i can't see them so i think i'm just going to do every other one because i for some reason i can't see this i've never had this problem before but um i'll go ahead and grab these and these and i have all of those and if you press s to scale them in you get this cool little effect i wouldn't do it too much i wouldn't do it too much but just a little bit and you get a cool little effect so this will be our pine tree and then uh we'll go ahead and texture it so to texture you want to go into uv editing open up your color grid there we go perfect and then we're gonna go over here press one to just get a nice view of our tree and keep in mind guys the more time you spend on something the better it's gonna look uh, I also didn't line up this top one perfectly, so I should probably fix that, but for this tutorial's sake, I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. You would fix it the same way we fixed the rest of them. So, first up, we're going to do this trunk by selecting it, going into edit mode, clicking A. That's going to project everything over here. We're going to hover over it, press U, and then project from view. That's going to make it a lot less confusing, and just make it so we can see what's going on. 
Now we're gonna scale this down with S and then press G to grab it and move it to like right over here. It's a nice brown color. Go to our material picker right here and click this. If you don't see all these options, there will be a button that says new and just click that. But for base color, we're gonna come over here, image texture, and then click on your color grid. Now just click Z and go into material preview and there you go. We're gonna repeat these steps for the actual tree itself, all the leaves. So go into tab, select everything, project from view by pressing U, project from view. Here we go, we got it right here. Now we're gonna click A over here, S to scale, and G to grab. And we're gonna put it right here because I think that's a cool little kind of green. And right here, we're just gonna click new, base color, image texture, and then click on our color grid. And there we go, guys. That's how you make a pine tree and texture it within Blender 2.8. If you did enjoy and you wanna see more tutorials like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Later.